so cold. What's up guys, hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are having an amazing holiday, having an amazing winter break and I feel like my holiday just started because I had an assignment due at midnight on Monday and I handed it in at 11.30. So I'm actually done now, no more projects, no more assignments, no more exams. Uh, there's a person looking at me. Uh, but yeah, today I'm hanging out with my dad, he has his day off. We're gonna grab some food, we're gonna grab some groceries, we're just gonna like walk around, chill, and yeah. <laughs> Looks like we have to wait a bit. <laughs> yeah, so right now I'm just waiting outside of Nam, waiting for my spot. They're kind of busy and they're a legit Vietnamese owned restaurant, so I think it's worth the wait. The pho is really good, so yeah. Alright, so I made it back home and I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about what I've been thinking about for the past few weeks. So I've noticed on YouTube there's been a bunch of videos out there about like holiday gift guides or like top 10 things you should buy for like a photographer or filmmaker. And it really got me thinking like when I was at Best Buy, I was looking at these like super nice cameras. Like I was looking at the Canon G7X Mark II, like a great vlogging camera. I was looking at some of Sony's mirrorless cameras and as you guys saw from the footage, like it looks really good. but. I was just thinking and like, I'm using my iPhone 7 Plus and it still looks fine. So I was just thinking about like, why I even vlog in the first place and it just brought me back to my first video that I ever made on this channel. And if you guys remember, I just started vlogging because I just wanted to keep track of my workout. I just wanted to literally log my workouts and see my progress. So yes, everyone has their own style of vlogging and vlogging is constantly evolving, but I feel like vlogging at its core is just video logging which is just like tracking what you've been doing during your day or tracking whatever you want and just looking back at it. A bunch of people have asked me like, what do I use to film or what do I use to edit? And so yeah, I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus that Vincent, my buddy gave to me and I edit on my 2017 MacBook Pro. If you guys know, like the keyboard for that isn't the greatest, but it does the job and I don't need the touch bar. So I got like the lowest tier. So for anyone out there who has like starting a YouTube channel or like starting vlogs as like the top of their New Year's resolution list, I would say in terms of choosing a camera, just use whatever camera you have and whatever is the easiest for you to use and like the most efficient for you to use. So for instance, I use the iPhone 7 Plus to record everything, but I also have a Canon like DSLR, which even has like the flip out screen. It's great, but the thing is I don't have an SD card reader on this MacBook and my dongle that I got doesn't have one either. So importing videos is kind of difficult when compared to iPhone 7 Plus, I can just airdrop the videos straight onto my Mac and start editing right away, which I find super convenient and like super easy. I'm still a beginner in terms of like filmmaking and photography. So I don't know like what half of these buttons do to be honest, like I'm still learning about it, but with an iPhone, it's really easy. I just like maybe change the exposure a little bit, put up some lights, and bam, start recording and that's it. So I shoot all my videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second and it looks pretty smooth, right? But like nowadays, even with like the iPhone 11, like you can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. Like that's ridiculous. So to be honest, you don't need to go out and like buy like a super fancy camera just to start vlogging. Like nowadays people have smartphones in their pockets that are basically amazing cameras that they can use for vlogging. So I posted my first YouTube video seven months ago and I feel like I've definitely learned so much about vlogging, but at the same time, I'm still a total beginner. Like, I know that gear doesn't matter. So I've learned to use what I have to its full potential. I'm literally using like 
an old guitar stand that I have and I clamped my gorilla pod onto it and I put it like right on the floor. I opened my blinds so I can get some nice natural light and I turn on like this lamp that I have as like a practical. So I feel like a lot of beginners out there who start YouTube videos actually have the equipment to like record these amazing videos. It's just, they don't know how to use their equipment to their full potential. So for example, if you went out and like bought a $3,000 DSLR, but you don't know how to use it at all, like it's not gonna help make your videos any better if you don't know how to like frame properly, if you don't know how to light a video, if you don't know how to talk to a camera even. Like talking to a camera is super awkward, like it's super weird, but the more you do it, the better you get at it, you know? So the closest thing I can relate it to is like playing guitar because I've been playing that for a few years and I've been playing piano for 10 years with this totally out of tune, sticky keys, weird pedals, like, but I still made it to level 10 RCM, like, like I got, okay, well, okay, this is level eight. Wait, level eight? Okay, well, I made it, I, I finished level eight, which is still very impressive with like the type of piano that I've had. But my point is you don't need the gear to learn things, like, Yes, of course, if you have like better gear, like you might sound better, but if you're a total noob and you have like a $3,000 guitar, like if you don't know how to play it, what's it gonna do, right? So in terms of YouTube, I edit with iMovie on my 2017 MacBook Pro. iMovie is completely free, but I find like so many different things I can do in terms of editing. Like I wanted to have like these title sequences like appear really aesthetically, but I didn't know how to do it in iMovie because like the default titles were whack to be honest. So I looked up YouTube tutorials and I found out that I can do like these crazy edits on Keynote. So I don't have to pay for any of this, but I'm still like learning so much about editing. But yeah, that's what's been going on my mind recently. And yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy these type of like sit down videos where I'm just talking to the camera because it definitely helps me in terms of like looking back and like reflecting and trying to improve my videos. So leave a comment down below and smash that like button. It definitely helps me a lot. See you guys in the next one. Peace.